fleet. Ah, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Night of live theatre and television, and uh, television is a very powerful tool. But then again, so is Eddie Maguire. <laughs> Uh, as you know, I look after your best interests, and uh, recently something has been uh, confusing me and no doubt confusing you, and I've written a letter to the appropriate person, and I'd like to read it to you now. Dear Mr Arnotts, recently, while on an extended stay in country Victoria, I found myself confronted by a packet of your famous barbecue shapes. <laughs> after a small time of reflection, I decided to sample a few of your wares, as I had often heard people praise them, and I had read of their quality in over two different interstate newspapers. <laughs> Upon removing three of your biscuits from their container, I was struck by the fact that while uniform in shape, they resembled in no way any barbecue that I had ever seen. <laughs> and trust me, I've seen hundreds. I was puzzled. A wave of relief washed over me as I realised that, oddly, the barbecue reference in the name Barbecue Shapes referred not to their shape at all, but to their taste. Ah, how easy it is to confuse something's taste sensation with its three-dimensional physical form. <laughs> I then ate the biscuits, first one, then another, and then, not surprisingly, the third. With each, I was hit by an alien sensation. In no way did they resemble any barbecued produce that I had ever consumed. <laughs> Rather than make a snap judgement, I sent a chap out to bring me 43 different kinds of animal, many of which are both difficult and illegal to kill. <laughs> I then barbecued and consumed each animal individually. Sadly, none of them resembled your product at all, Mr Arnott. Finally, thinking laterally, I deduced that your product may in fact taste like an actual barbecue unit. <laughs> I then consumed a portion of my own six-burner barbecue using a method I learned from a wealthy but insane South African gentleman. <laughs> it tasted of steel, plastic and the grease of 43 different animals, but sadly, not of your product at all. <laughs> Mr Arnott, there has been an injustice here. A mistake has been made, re your barbecue shapes, and as a fellow man of breeding, I beg you to redress this imbalance. There is no judgement involved here, for as we all know, the barbecue is a wily beast, and one that is at times quite difficult to define. I remain your friend, Gregory Fleet Esquire, CEO, Fleet Industries. Thank you very much. Good night. Have a great festival. Peace.